Hey guys, it's Stav here, and welcome back. Today we are going over the upcoming update for the PS4 version 505, I believe. It is the equivalent of PC version 255. And this update is actually set to release March 13th, which is actually just in two days. And a few things that are coming in this and on screen right now, you are actually seeing the Electric Eel, which is a definitely a cool dino. And this will allow you to knock out some of those bigger creatures under the sea, which can be a hassle, like the Moza and the Plessy and that type of stuff. And also, it is a passive tame. And it is just one more thing in the ocean that can kill you and shock you and knock you out. Oh my. I, I'm i growing less and less fond of that place by the update. Anyways, moving on from that, on screen you are seeing the Microraptor. And the Microraptor is actually a pretty cool tame because it will actually dismount riders. When you actually can like throw it kind of like a Dimorphodon, that's the best way I can describe it to you guys to relate to. But this will actually dismount riders, which is a super cool tool, definitely, if you're in raid defense or anything like that. But anyways, moving on from the Microraptor, we are going on to the Ammonite. And this is actually the uh, underwater creature, and it is actually a passive creature until you hit it. And once you hit it, it actually shoots out a uh, green, like, poison, you could say. And this will actually attract all predator creatures in the ocean to attack you. And it includes any land dinos that are near, so watch out for that. But this uh, Ammonite does drop black pearls, so it would be something good to kill if you can one-shot it or whatever. Don't think it would deploy that stuff. But anyways, moving on to my favorite dino for this patch, actually, is the Thylico. Leo. Thylico Leo. There you go. Uh, well, anyways, this cat is actually pretty much a bigger saber tooth, I would say. But it has the ability to actually climb structures and climb walls and that type of stuff and climb up hills, climb trees. And it is actually an aggressive tree creature. And in the trailer of this actual update, which I will link down below for sure, it can jump off the trees and jump on pteranodons. So it's going to be crazy. I don't know what you're gonna do if you're living in the redwoods if you're just going out of base like that'd be awful but anyways moving on from the actual dinos in the patch and getting on to some of the new tech tier things there's actually gonna be a new structure the tech force field so I'll show that on screen right now and then you have two more new structures in uh, the tech tile set and also tech doors which I'll show the tech door on screen in including just those features, we are having a few other things coming to the things. A couple of big things, actually. Now, there will be 30 new Explorer notes, which is just cool. Double XP, not a bad thing. And there's actually going to be a rocket launcher and C4 bounce. So C4 will now actually be buffed and do approximately 70 or 70% 70 more damage to structures than rockets. And rocket launchers will no longer have item stats but the base damage of rocket launchers will actually be increased 20% to compensate. And now your rocket turrets on your Quetzals and your base and that type of stuff will actually take slight amount of damage when they fire, and you can actually not fire them when they're under percent under 5% HP. So keep that in mind. And also, they are now fixing anything to do with uh, flyers and C4 bombs and that type of stuff. Because now C4 carrying flyers will move at a fixed slow speed. So that's kind of rough for anybody that loves to use that. But then again, that's in the past. Just trying to make raiding harder is what it looks like in these past few updates. And also, item stats on official servers are now clamped to negate the older, no longer achievable OP items generated by then the unbalanced fishing rod. It added options for uh, per tribe dino tame limit on official PVE servers, and now they have a max of 500 dinos per tribe, which is kind of cool for the PVE server. And uh, you can actually have a max personal tame dinos for each member in your tribe. This is another cool option. And it also has the uh, added option to auto destroy claimable decayed 
dinos on load rather than them remaining around is a claimable item. To use this, run with auto destroy decay dinos equal true on official PvE servers. So that's some PvE stuff. But now there's also going to be a various uh, network optimizations, major rendering, and also third editing op optimizations. Excuse, excuse my pronunciation on this. Oh my. To come in uh, subsequent minor version updates. And this is just like an optimization for the actual game. And I believe that Jad even said it could increase your like game efficiency by 15%, which would be super cool to see because the lag is the alpha on all servers. Oh my god. It'll kill ya. It'll, uh, it's just awful. Well, anyway, it's just a quick video for you guys today. And definitely stay tuned because there will be a lot of content coming up in the next week or so with boss fights and also had some cross server antics coming. So. Anyway, stay tuned for that, and if you did go on to enjoy the update video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below with any questions or suggestions for videos, and subscribe if you're new, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.